guys welcome back to star soaps in the taranaki today as you can see in front of you i've got some crazy oil it looks a bit different to the oil that i usually work with doesn't it that's because this guys is ko-fi infused olive oil if you're not familiar with the ko-fi feel free to go google it now it's spelt k-o-w-h-a-i it's a tree that is native to New Zealand where I am and we have one in our backyard we lost a branch recently due to some high winds so I salvaged the flowers and I infused them in olive oil now my plan today because this is a lot of oil and making a big batch probably actually the biggest batch of soap I've ever made so woo, that's exciting I'm going to be doing a few different things I'm going to have probably a loaf about this size of plain unscented ko-fi soap that will have ko-fi dried ko-fi petals sprinkled on the top because I kept a few of the flowers and dried the petals so here's the ko-fi petals that I will sprinkle on the top of that one and for the last part I'm going to take my box mold that I made my big box mold which is just a wet wipes box that we lined my partner and I lined with the freeze paper he helped me because he folded it all nicely so it would fit and I'm going to probably scent that in, I haven't really decided yet what fragrance I'll use in that one, but I'll put a caption <laughs> when I make my mind up. And I'll put a lot of embeds in that one. That'll be a nice big embed soap. So here we go, let's get soaping. so here we have the final soaps that got a little bit crazy on me there's only really one word for that clean fragrance 
fra uh, that clean linen fragrance oil and that is evil it just turned to rock in here so that's what the bottom layer is it's just like really thick crazy soap um it's probably gonna have to be rebatched so i really don't know why i went ahead and tried to stick in the end beds but you never know it could still be good so we'll see and then over here is the plain unscented ko-fi infused soap with the ko-fi petals on top and then i put lemongrass and orange mica into what became those little ghosts is not healing with time and silence and my own is not healing Okie doke. So here we have the Ko-Fi infused soap with Ko-Fi petals on the top and nothing else. No fragrance, no colour, all natural. This is how it's come out. It's rather sticky to the touch so I'm not even going to pick up a bar and hold it because it's so sticky. I went ahead and cut it anyway and I didn't film it because I was sort of in a hurry. And I don't know how those flower petals on the top are going to hang out. I hope they cure and nice and don't go brown or anything. I hope they stay nice and yellow and pretty like coffee flowers. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to cut and the sooner I cut it's going to be better because it's so hard on the bottom there. It's going to be easy to cut the top because the top was the softest soap but the bottom, I'm going to cut through it. Can you see that? Let's see if I can go this way. Oh yeah! Woo! See how different that soap on the bottom is? So, that clean linen fragrance was not my friend. It seized the batch. So, what you've got in front of you is half of it. It's like this. What I have over here. But I've pulled out all these embeds and sliced it all up into little fine little pieces. Grated it up into little pieces. And now I'm going to add some coconut milk, some sugar syrup and some melted stearic acid and I've got a little bit of coconut oil in here maybe about a tablespoon of coconut oil with the rest of the soap and I'm going to start melting it down to rebatch it I'm going to add peppermint essential oil and tea tree essential oil and I'm going to add poppy seeds for exfoliation but I'm not going to put any colour in so it'll be the same colour that it is and A night world 
alone in these four walls with time and silence and my own is not healing with time and silence and my own is not healing but I know it's not always gonna be this way when the sun shines Okay, so the crock pot's gonna go off now. It's gonna sit here for another 20 minutes or so, maybe 40. Just see how we go. And I'm gonna come back and add some poppy seeds, some tea tree oil, and some peppermint oil. stressful it took a very long time it was it's late at night now 
it was maybe a three to four hour process all up there's a lot of patience involved and I really hope I get a good outcome I have two different kinds of soap very different kinds of soap there Such a battling off. And my eyes have been furiously searching for the sun. I know it's not always gonna be this way And the sun shines down in rays That pierce right through the dark day Just try to survive.